Hello everyone, welcome. Today what I want to do is introduce you to how you can actually control the energy consumption of your wireless router by using wireless power control. Now here with me today, I have the ultimate networking machine. This is the Netgear WNDR3700, which is the flagship of dual band gigabit routing. Now the WNDR3700 has been precision engineered to deliver both the best performance and range. But what makes the WNDR3700 so powerful? Well, for one, it uses very high powered amplifiers in the Wi-Fi circuitry. It also has eight internal ultra-sensitive antennas, and it has very efficient filters to maximize both the wireless performance and range. While ideal for large homes and businesses, you may not actually need all of the wireless range that the WNDR3700 provides, perhaps if you live in a smaller dwelling. But that's okay, because with the WNDR3700, you can actually adjust the wireless power level based on the range you need. So why not go green and save some money in the environment at the same time, right? Okay, let's see how we do this. First log on to the graphics user interface by typing routerlogin.net. Use admin for the username and password for the password. Once you're logged into GUI, click on the advanced settings under the advanced category. From here, click on the pull-down menu that is labeled Transmit Power Control. Depending on the range you get, you can change the 2.4 GHz settings only or both the 2.4 and 5 GHz frequency power settings. Change to a lower power level, say 75% and walk to the furthest corner of your home with your laptop where you're still likely to use your wireless and see if you get a decent signal or at least two bars. If you do, then change to a lower power level. Say, turn 2.4 GHz down to 50%. And at this point, you'll be saving energy and money. Now please note that the 5 GHz range is usually lower than 2.4 as the higher the frequency, the more quickly the signal fades. So while the WNDR3700 is packed with features and provides you with the best Wi-Fi performance and range available in the market today, you still have the power to control your carbon footprint by reducing your power usage by up to 75% like I just showed you. Furthermore, by turning off this Wi-Fi switch here in the front, say when you're not at home or at night, you can actually reduce your power consumption by up to 30% as opposed to when the Wi-Fi is running at full power. That's real money you're going to save every single day. So I hope this has been informative and I hope it's been helpful. And for any more information, please visit netgear.com.